and we're back. Hey, all right, we are back. Last week, we talked in language about our adjectives. Well, we've been talking about adjectives for a while. What are adjectives? Adjectives are words that describe nouns. Very good. An adjective is a word that describes a noun. Remember, it doesn't have to be um, just a colorful word like the tall tree or the green grass or the blue sky. Um, it could be old car. It could be my car. It could be David's bike. It could be um, Allison's hair. Okay. So remember, or her shirt. Okay. Remember, there are many different words. Don't forget the who's. A lot of you are forgetting the who's words. So don't forget those. We get the what kind. We get the how many. Um, we Sometimes we get the which one, that one, this one, but we forget the who's. So don't forget those. And then don't forget the three, three little words that are always adjectives. A and the. Don't forget those because they'll be mad at you if you forget them continually. So think those through, okay? But we talked about when we have our adjectives and when we're comparing them, when we're comparing two things with each other, we talked about the fact that we add what on the end of two things? Good, E-R on the end. And then if we're comparing three or more, we do what? We add what? E-S-T, very good. Er or est, hyphen E-S-T, hyphen E-R. And that's what we're going to be listening for today. I want you to listen to these sentences that I'm going to read. Thumbs up or thumbs down. Thumbs up if it's correct. Thumbs down if it's not. So there are emojis in emoji land that you can do thumbs up or thumbs down. So I know that you know that I know that you know. Okay. Or just tell me. Like just shout it out to me. Okay. So I know that you're thinking these through. So I'm not going to say thumbs up or thumbs down because I want you to tell your moms, tell me, you can comment, whatever, show me that you know. So first sentence, listen carefully and see, is it correct when we compare two things or when we compare three things, are we using the correct suffix ending? That yellow butterfly is larger than the blue one. That yellow butterfly is larger then the blue one, thumbs up or thumbs down? Tell me which one. I'm not going to say because I'm going to wait for you to say, okay? Then sentence number two, of the two girls, Jessie is fastest. Thumbs up or thumbs down? Of the two girls, Jessie is fastest. Number three, Joshua is the tallest student in our class. Now, we're not saying if it's true or false. We, we know Joshua's probably not, though you are, you're not short, Joshua, you're not bad. But I think we've got a couple taller, taller boys maybe than you or taller students than you. But it's okay. We're not asking if it's true or false, third grade. All we're asking is if the sentence is correct. And then when you're thinking about that sentence, Joshua is the tallest in our class, remember, we're comparing Joshua to the whole class. We're comparing him to all of the rest of you. So that's what you are deciding. When we are, we should we use Joshua is the taller of all the students in our class or Joshua is the tallest in our class, okay? So taller or tallest. Number four, those cookies are yummy. Or up or down, those cookies are yummy. Number five, the peanut butter cookie is yummier than the sugar cookie. Sorry, peanut butter cookies, bleh, no. The peanut butter cookie is yummier than the sugar cookie. Thumbs up for if that's a correct sentence, if yummier is the correct word usage, or thumbs down if it's not. Then the last one, sentence six. The chocolate chip cookies are the yummy cookies of all the cookies. The chocolate chip cookies are the yummy cookies of all the cookies. I think you could figure that one out pretty quickly, right? So we're comparing two things or three or more things. And we know when we're comparing two, we do ER. When we're comparing three or more, 
we are using EST. So think carefully and tell me what you think. Thumbs up or thumbs down for sentences one, two, three, four, five, and six, okay? So today we're gonna to talk about the same thing. We're gonna talk about comparing adjectives again. But there's an interesting thing about our adjectives. There are some adjectives that are longer words, okay? We talked about cute, cuter, cutest, wet, wetter, wettest, um, uh, old, older, oldest, okay? We've talked about those, but there are some words that are longer, okay? I've got some words on my board that are longer words, like beautiful or wonderful or unusual. Those words are longer, so we can't use ER and EST with them. We're not going to say, look at two flowers and say, that flower is beautifuler than the other. Ugh, no, that's not correct, okay? Beautiful is too long to put an ER on the end of it. Um, so we are going to take beautiful, and we can't, com we still have to compare the flowers to each other. That flower is not beautifuler, it is more beautiful. So when we are comparing two adjectives, when it's a longer adjective, we use the word more. So this is for two. When there's two things that we're comparing, this flower is more beautiful than this flower. We use more. So what do you think we're gonna do if it's three or more? We're going to use most. So of all the flowers, this one is the most beautiful. So most is for three or more, three plus, okay? So that makes sense, right? Because we don't say beautifuler and oh, that is the beautifulest flower. I mean, that's a long word to try to say. Instead of saying beautifuler and beautifulest, we don't, that's not, that's not correct English. We use more and most, okay? So it's easy. You think of the R, E-R in, in the, um, when you're comparing two, well, there's an ER, they're just switched around more. And then you think of the EST. Well, this has an ST at the end of it. So you can think EST, most, ER, ER, more. Okay, that will help you. We have another word, wonderful. What could we use to, to be, um, for wonderful to describe? It's a wonderful day. It's a little, dreary, but we could say it's a wonderful day, right? Well, then if we compare today to yesterday, I think Jackson would say yesterday was more wonderful than today, right? More wonderful. Wonderful is another long word. We don't say, oh, yesterday was wonderfuler than today. No, wonderfuler is not a word. Oh, that is the wonderfulest thing no wonderfulest is not okay either and we definitely don't use them both together more wonderfuler most wonderfulest no okay most wonderful or more wonderful so obviously if we're comparing all the days to this week yesterday i think was probably the most wonderful day okay so when we're comparing three or more it's most two or more more easy right Last one, unusual. Let's see, what, what word could we use? All right, I don't know what you, I'm not sure what you just said, but I was thinking that is an unusual toy. You guys always have some unusual, interesting things. That is an unusual toy. But Isaiah's toy is, compared to Stephen's, more unusual. Isaiah's toy is more unusual, oh, excuse me, then Stephen's toy, okay? So we're comparing both of those boys together, more unusual. But I have to say, this is probably gonna be the true one. Joshua's toy compared to Stephen's and, and um, Isaiah's and probably Jediah's and Evan's and uh, Jackson's, like everybody else's toy, Joshua's toy is probably going to be the most unusual. 
Yes, he always has some very interesting things. So most unusual, not unusualist, okay? That's not a correct word, so we're not going to use that. So when it's two or more, or when it's two, excuse me, that we're comparing, we use the word more. When it's three or more that we're comparing, we use the word most. Now, really quickly, illust going to illustrate that for you. I have my bags back again. All my cute bags, right? You guys remember those. So I have this doll that was given to me by one of my students years ago. Isn't she cute? She looks just like me, doesn't she? Yeah, we're cute. Um, so if I wanted to give this doll to somebody to borrow, because you can't keep her because she's mine forever, because she was given to me. If I wanted to share this doll with somebody, I don't want to just hand it to them. I want to put it in a bag so it looks nice. And it's, you know, it's a nice little gift for them. I mean, it's okay. I mean, she fits in here. So, I mean, I could say this is a good bag. Okay. I mean, it's, it's not a great fit, but it's a good bag. If I, if I didn't have anything else, that bag certainly will work to be able to put her in because I can put her in here and I can give her to the person. But let's see our next bag because we talked last week about the fact that this bag is bigger, medium sized bag is bigger. Okay, so this is a good bag too. This is better. Um, but again, she still sticks out and my friend will already know exactly what I'm giving to her because she can see the doll sticking out of this bag. So this is a good bag. Um, we don't say this one. Oh, and I already said it. I didn't even catch myself. Did you hear what I said? I didn't say this bag is gooder. No, it's not gooder. This bag is a better bag. So the medium bag would be a better bag to put her in, okay, when we're comparing. And now we have this bag, which obviously, hey ladybug, you can't have my dog, no. This bag is going to be the goodest bag, right? Because I can put her in here and put some, wait, what? Why are you yelling? We don't yell at the teacher, guys. Goodest? What? I can't say goodest? Yes, no, I don't say goodest. And I don't say most good either. I'm going to say this bag is the best bag. Very good to put her in. Because then I could put, you know, um, tissue paper and fluff it out. And then she's going to be totally surprised when she... And then I say, you don't get to keep her. <laughs> That's even better that you don't get to keep her because she's mine, okay? But this bag would be the best bag. So good, better, and best are also ways that we can compare. They're adjectives that we use to compare. And one last thing. I just want you to think, okay, this is really, this is, this is important. This is a bad day. It's just, this is a bad day. Today is worse than yesterday. It's worse, so much worse. Or, hey, get out of my bag. <laughs> Sorry, she's in my bag looking for my doll. This is the worst day ever. And guess why? I don't know, it just is. No, because it says here, because I have a knot in my shoelaces. <laughs> that's not really funny, but that's, anyway, sorry. Okay, well, I'm going to stop here because this video is already long enough. And I hope that you are getting more and most. So E-R-E-S-T, when they're smaller words, we do the E-R-E-S-T. But when they're longer words, beautiful, wonderful, unusual, more and most. And then when it's good, it's good, better, best. And when it's bad, it's bad, worse, worst. So the first one is worse. 
We don't say this is the worst day of the two. No, it's the worst than yesterday, not worst. And then three is this is the worst. Okay, so think those through. I know you can figure those out because you're smart. So speak smart because I, you know, Miss Monroe's taught you now. Now you know how to use those words correctly. You better do that. I'm going to catch you if you don't. See you soon.